Hey guys, what is going on? It is your buddy Keith here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England. I've got one of 600 ever made Gibson Les Paul slash signature Appetite for Destruction models with the insane amber flame top. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is super, super intense. It's the second one we've had here at the studio. We had another one a few months ago that I handpicked. It sold in like a day. I think it went to Germany. Um, I do not expect this one to last long at all. It is dead mint. I can't find a mark on it. Um, it is in phenomenal condition. It's got all the original case candy, strap locks, things untouched and again with any flame top guitar in a limited series no two tops are the same but i mean this is as good as it gets guys this is awesome this thing is super super intense very very 3d and what i mean by that is like look look in this region right here as we go back and forth you'll see wow those flames are popping they get really thick and then as we go to the left, look at that. Now they're starting to disappear. And then they kind of reappear. That's that 3D holographic tiger flame effect that these have. And this is the most intense one. I mean, you can look at, look at the video on the channel of the other one we had. I think this one beats it. And that other one was seriously amazing. Um, yeah, if there's anything to say, this is so annoying, but... And it happened on the other one we had too. Guys, when you ship a Les Paul, take the little plastic toggle piece off or switch it to the front. If you leave it in this position, when you ship it, it will break. And ours, our little plastic topper there broke in uh, shipping to us. But whatever, it's a small thing. It's like a dollar to replace that. But just something to be wary of and aware of always just flip it over and if you really want to be safe unscrew it and throw it in the little storage compartment if you look at brand new gibsons they're all shipped with this part off there's a reason for it it's because they break in the case during transit but uh that's the end of my little lecture there if we pull this out of the case you can see this thing is like mint there's not any buckle rash there's no lines or marks the headstock doesn't have any chips on the corners or edges or anything. You've got the proper made in 2010 serial number there. You can see the first digit's a one, the fourth digit's a, or fifth digit rather is a zero. So that's 2010. You've got the proper Cluson Deluxe tuners, which are not in focus right now. Cause there we go. Cause I'm doing this all one handed, but yeah, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Cannot find a single mark on her might be a few specks of dust but uh this thing is just totally beautiful guys let me lay it down like this and we'll have another more in-depth look a little look-see all around wow feel free to freeze the camera zoom in do what you got to do, guys. This is for sale. It's on the website, EssexRecordingStudios.com and on Reverb.com. We sell to any country in the world. Just hit us up. We will ship it priority. You can get in touch with me on Facebook, Instagram. It's at Essex Recording Studios. We'll take care of you. Let me make sure you can see this side completely properly. There you go. Beautiful piece of mahogany, guys. So only 600 of these made. We've had two of them. And uh, just get this little piece of paper out of the way. Cool. That's it, guys. Very, very rare. And from what I can see, this is the most sought after of these series. You know, there's more and more of them. As his uh, as he's getting more popular with the younger generations, they're making more signature models. But the new signature models have much higher production numbers. There were only ever 600 of these made. 
I don't know how many have survived the test of time. They're about a decade old, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. Cool. Well, I got to get going, guys. I got a lot of videos to do for you. I've got all of these. We just did a uh, Gibson Les Paul Custom White. Got a very special Fender in there. All of these guitars. We've got a few Japanese ESP Custom Shops there and there. Gibson Custom Shop there. All of these guitars. So let me go and do these videos. But thanks for hanging out with me, checking out this badass Slash guitar. Super, super cool. And uh, enjoy the weekend, guys. It's Sunday night. I'm going to go watch some TV with the wifey. We're going to go watch some uh, Handmaid's Tale. Pretty wild TV show if you haven't seen it. It's uh, intense. Last episode was pretty boring. But hopefully they pick up the pace in this next one. Cool. So I'll leave you with that. Stick around on the channel. Many more guitar videos coming up right after this. Later, guys.